Hello, thanks for joining. This is Elise. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create and edit a property flyer. Choose a property flyer by clicking on the flyer of your choice and select Create and Edit. To replace an image, select the image box you'd like to change and click on the Replace Image button in the Image Editing Tool section. Next, click Browse and select the image you'd like to upload. And click Open. Your new image will automatically populate your property flyer. To crop an image, select the image box you'd like to crop and click Crop Image in the Image Editing Tool section. Drag the crop box around with your mouse. You can resize the crop area by grabbing one of the four corners and dragging it. The crop box will always maintain the proper aspect ratio of your image box. Once you're happy with your image, click the Crop Image button. To resize an image, click in the image box and grab one of the four corner points. You can change the height, width, or overall size of the image box by dragging and dropping any one of the four corner points. To move an image, click on the image box and position your cursor over it until the cursor changes from a pointer to a four directional arrow. Click the image box and drag and drop it to its new location on the marketing piece. To rotate an image box, select the image box you'd like to rotate and move your cursor over the green circle located at the top of your image box. Your cursor will change from an arrow to a round arrow. You can then click and drag the circle to rotate your image box around a central pivot point. To link an image to a website, simply click on the image you'd like to link. The Image Editing Tool section will display at the top of your screen. Next, click the Link Image button, insert the hyperlink in the space provided, and click OK. To edit an existing text box, click on either the text in the marketing piece or the label under Text Boxes. This will highlight the text box, allowing you to make necessary changes. To delete a text box, select the text box you'd like to remove and click on the Remove button in the Article Text Management Tool section at the top of your screen. To move a text box, click on the text box and position your cursor over it until the cursor changes from a pointer to a four directional arrow. Next, drag and drop it to its new location on the marketing piece. To change the font within a text box, highlight the text you wish to modify. Click on the font drop down arrow in the text editing tool section and select the font of your choice. The new font will automatically display in your marketing piece. To change the font size, highlight the text you wish to modify. Click on the font size drop down arrow and select the size of your choice. The new size will automatically display. Click the Spell Check button in the Text Editing Tool section to check all text in the selected text box. If any spelling errors are found, you'll be prompted with suggestions and have the ability to replace, ignore, or add the word to your dictionary. 
To add a Google Map to your marketing piece, click on the Add button in the main tool section and select Add Google Map. Once you add a Google Map to your marketing piece, notice the Map Editing tool section that appears in the main toolbar. Let's move this Google Map to the desired location on our marketing piece. To set the address you'd like the map to center on, type the address here in the Map Editing tool section at the top of your screen. Next, click the Update Address button below the address. The map will automatically update with the new address. To link your Google Map directly to a web page, select your map and click on the Link Map button in the Map Editing tool section. The hyperlink will automatically pull from Google Maps into the hyperlink space provided. Note that the hyperlink will be active on the email version of this piece. When the recipient of your email clicks on the map, they will be taken directly to the Google Maps web page. To change the map type, select the Google Map and click on the Map Type button in the Map Editing tool section. There are four maps to select from road map, satellite, terrain, or hybrid. To increase or decrease the zoom level on your Google Map, select the map you wish to modify. In the Map Editing tool section at the top of your screen, grab the zoom slide bar and move it to the left to zoom out, or move the zoom slide bar to the right to zoom in. Please note, the map will always be centered on the current address that was used to create the Google Map. To save your property flyer, click Save in the main tool section at the top of your screen. Name your flyer something that you'll remember in the space provided and click Save. You'll have the option to continue editing this piece or exit the editor. Once your property flyer is saved, you have a list of actions to select from. To email your property flyer, click Email and your contact manager will automatically populate, allowing you to email your property flyer in seconds. That completes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.